This gorgeous Art Nouveau hotel is a fictional building. It comes from the film The Grand Budapest Hotel by Wes Anderson in 2014. We take this impressive building as the third tutorial of the famous architecture series. I hope it brings you inspiration. The model looks quite complicated, but as long as the modeling logic is clarified, there's no difficulty in this work. Just be patient. Based on the scenes in the movie, push and pull the mass to build the site, and then build the main body of the building. Make window holes on the external wall and then add the decoration of the cornice and the roof. Use the tool Follow Me in SketchUp for the tower. Then let's deal with the windows. Because they're all the same, making good use of function component will make the later modification much more convenient. These decorative patterns are very troublesome to make in SketchUp. Usually, you need plugins to do this. Therefore, we can hand over these works to AutoCAD. Import the pictures into AutoCAD and trace the patterns, and then import the trace patterns into SketchUp and turn them into blocks. Then, add more details like railings, benches, plants, lamps, and decorations. The models of the person, the curtains, and the sculptures are from 3D Warehouse. Now that's more like it. The tone of Budapest Hotel in the movie is dreamy and elegant, as if it were in the filter of old fairy tales. And how to present it? Those artistic 3D pop-up book inspired us. We want the hotel to look like a dramatic stage set with an artistic atmosphere, like a movie poster. Narrowing the camera's visual field in SketchUp can weaken the sense of depth of the building and make it look flat, which will make the building look more disconnected to the background. We need a beautiful background and visually separated from the building. We found these models of the mountains in the 3D warehouse and put them quite far away from the building. In settings in Viri Asset Editor, turn on Volumetric Environment. Select Aerial Perspective and adjust the visibility range and atmosphere height until we get what we want. As for more detailed tutorial about volumetric environment, see our video counterpart, how to render volume light. Please note that V-Ray Aerial Perspective itself is a set of system to simulate the light scattering in the sky when it's full of dust. So even if you turn off the sun and the environment background, the scene will still be illuminated and adjusting the light multiplier can control the brightness of the sky. Let's look at the material. The pink color makes the building look like a strawberry cake. We use the gradient map in Viri Textures for the pink part at the bottom. Then add bump map to it, and that's how it looks. In the roof material and in the texture slot of diffuse, 
add a dirt map in the V-Ray textures to simulate the snow on the roof. Add a bump map to the stone wall. For the mountain, add a displacement in the material and put a black and white bitmap of the mountain in the texture slot, which looks like this. The white part will bulge and the black part will be sunken. When you render the architecture from a distant view, the details of the material surface doesn't really weigh as heavily as you think, because for the final look, color is more important. Instead of dealing too much with the surface reflections, bumps, or particles, we spent more time adjusting the color. Constantly adjust the color of the whole building using V-Ray's real-time rendering until you get a satisfying result. Then, let's add more details for the picture. Both snow trees are from the internet, and use the plugin Scatter to put one of them over the distant mountains which makes the bare peaks look more beautiful. And the other one is on the hillside near the scene. Put some rectangle lights and sphere lights in some rooms. Now the hotel starts to look more inviting. At last, what's more? Oh yes, the big dramatic moon in the background. Draw a huge circle and put it in the distance and add a new material to it. Then add an emissive layer to the material. Add a bitmap of a moon in texture slot in color and adjust its intensity. Let's look at the final rendering. We got a wonderful dramatic picture like a movie poster. The director Andrei Tarkovsky once said that relating a person to the whole world by putting them in an ever-changing environment and letting them brush past various characters, that is the meaning of cinema. I think we have found the meaning of making this wallpaper, that is, to share a fact with people who are willing to empathize. The Budapest Hotel is not fictional, but real, somewhere in our hearts. If you like this wallpaper, you can get it from our Behang's homepage. If it inspires you, don't forget to leave a comment. Your support will inspire us to make more interesting tutorials.